In all my time making and watching Void 3.0 builds, I don't think I've ever seen somebody using handheld supernova. Originally, this video was supposed to be a vortex grenade build, and then I tried this thing out and it smacked. I completely forgot this was even in the game, and it's actually pretty broken. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Gminers here, and in this video, as you've probably already seen, we're going to be abusing the living hell out of handheld supernova. More specifically, this is actually just an enhanced version of the magnetic grenade, but by charging it up, we turn it into a short-range shotgun blast that one-shots everything other than bosses and champions. I honestly had no clue how strong this thing was, but by combining this with Controverse Holds, we get a decent amount of energy back each time we use the grenade, and then we're also able to get energy back from Devour, Elemental Wells that we're using with the build, and some additional mods that I'm going to be going over later. Let me know if you guys personally have used this thing since Witch Queen launched. I honestly had no clue it was this strong in PvE. And if you guys do like these build videos and you want to see more like them, make sure to drop a like and sub down below. Only around 18% of you guys that watch these videos are actually subscribed, so smack that red button. And let's get into our Void subclass first. Starting things off for the build for solo play, I generally like running Cataclysmic Nova Bomb. In a group setting, Vortex is usually a better option though, especially against bosses. Healing Rift is what I choose to run like 90% of the time, but we do have Devour with this build, so if you guys do want the extra 20% damage increase from Empowering Rift, that works just as well. And then lastly, for our grenade, as I went over, Magnetic Grenade is what will turn into the handheld supernova. Additionally, this entire build does also work with Vortex Grenades, just a slightly different playstyle overall. So really, run whatever you want, but changing it up and rocking Magnetics has felt amazing. To get our grenades to actually go from the base version to the enhanced, this is where Chaos Accelerant comes into play as our first aspect. With this, we gain the ability to hold in our grenade to overcharge it, which then beefs up its damage and its effectiveness. For magnetic grenades specifically, this becomes a short-ranged Void Blast, which is what handheld Supernova used to be before Void was reworked to the 3.0 state. So now, by holding this grenade in, the Void Blast is going to travel around 5-10 to 10 meters, which is decently close ranged, and then it's also going to be releasing 5 tracking projectiles that can track to one target or multiple. Additionally, even though it isn't mentioned in-game, the Data Compendium does say that this applies Volatile to enemies, which you can actually see in the background gameplay. Second to this, the Aspect Feed the Void is what gives us the Devour buff. This procs any time we get an ability kill, then once Devour is active, any kill will add duration to the timer, along with provide us with full health and shields, and give us grenade energy back as well. So with this, the cycle of getting our grenade back is way quicker, and as long as we keep getting kills, we're pretty much invincible. Fragment-wise, for the build, first up is going to be Echo of Instability. Since we don't need any duration increases when using magnetic grenades, now, anytime we get an ability kill, we will be applying volatile rounds to all our void weapons. Pairing this with Unforgiven or even Layman Arc is going to be your best bet, both of which are void, and if you personally aren't using any void weapons, this can easily be swapped out. Echo of Undermining is going to allow our void grenades to apply weaken to enemies. This is just a flat 15% debuff, which lasts a few seconds after being applied. So in essence, if nothing else, this should just be 15% more damage with our grenade. And then finally, we have on Echo of Expulsion. This makes enemies killed by our void abilities explode, which is actually super nice with handheld supernova specifically, because sometimes the tracking might not kill more than the five adds if they're spread out. So these explosions help make up for this in our ad clear. Looking deeper over at Controverse Hold, the main thing we're getting here is going to be energy back. By charging our Void Grenade and landing it on an enemy, we are going to get a 2000% increase in our base grenade regen rate, and this lasts for 1.75 seconds. So once again, just by landing our grenade, we're going to be getting a huge chunk of energy back over this very short duration. The mod setup we have is also going to be returning the rest of the grenade energy that we need. So first and foremost, we are going to be running Elemental Ordinance. This is going to spawn in Elemental Wells, matching our subclass type whenever we get a grenade kill. So for us, that will be Void Wells. Bounceful Wells will then double the amount of wells that we spawn at base. Since wells give a small amount of energy back on pickup, this will be double the energy, assuming that we grab both. And then we are also going to be running Elemental Charge. This allows any Elemental Well we pick up to give us a stack of charge with light, and grabbing wells that match our subclass will give us two charges. The reason that we are actually going to need these stacks of Charge with Light is because we also have on two copies of Firepower with this build. 
Each copy gives 15% grenade energy back when we throw our grenades, so we now get 30% back instantly, and all this does is consume one stack of charge with light per grenade we throw. So now with this full setup, we get back 30% of our grenade instantly. We get another 20% back if we grab both of the elemental wells. And then Controverse also gives us a chunk back over time, which should be around 30% just by visual inspection. Lastly, since we are running Devour, depending on the enemy we kill, we will also be getting a significant chunk of energy back. The values of this are on screen now, and you can see that with tankier enemies, we are going to be getting more energy per kill. With all of this, you should have very close to 100% uptime on your grenades. The only time you won't actually have one back is typically if you only get a single red bar kill with it. Other than that, all you really need to do is hold in your grenade, release, grab elemental wells, and repeat. And since Devour is proc'd, we are constantly getting full health and shields on kill. This build actually shocked the hell out of me with how strong it is. I definitely want to try it against some beefier enemies with Verity's Brow. So if you guys also want to see that, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And I do also stream a bunch over on Twitch where we do low mans and speed runs live. A link to that and my Discord server is in the description below. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.